Oshikoto Education Director, Lame Kafidi says serious budgetary cuts experienced during the previous year is among the contributing factors to drop in performance in his region. Learners operating from non-boarding schools and hardships caused by drought that hit many home states are other contributing factors. Bringing stakeholders in education together to plan how to improve performance in Oshikoto was therefore vital. Kafidi is elaborating on some of the strategies the region needs to put in place if they are to improve performance. The improvement in the, in the teaching in the issue of task on time and probably also in the, in the issue of registration of our learners because um, what we have noted is that um, the, the, the registration of learners is not um, necessarily coherent. Some learners are um, registering at core while they could have registered at extended. Especially we have noted the issue of English is one of the major issues of concern. The stakeholders meeting was sponsored by Johnny and Penny Group. Last year, the same company spent $2 million to build libraries, computer laboratories and teachers' houses at Otala Combined School in Oshana. The rest of the money was spent on other education needs in Oshikoto, Ohangwena and other regions. Johnny and Penny Group Executive Chairman Johnny Akapandi Njala says this year his company plans to spend another two million in education of a Namibian child and the money is already allocated to different schools in Namibia. I was not lucky to go to school and I want to make sure that every child in Namibia have a chance to go to school. Not to be like I miss that opportunity, but I want everybody now, all the children to go to school. Not only to go to school, but I want them to have a quality education and coming to help this nation to start producing food by themselves, start to have our engineer, not only engineer, but engineer which can create things and agriculture which can produce food.